Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Disneyland to share with you 15 things you can't do at Disneyland. So let's get going. I just posted a video of the things that you need to stop doing at Disneyland and that seemed to be fairly popular. I thought I'd do a spin-off of that. There's gonna be a few overlap items, but in this one we're talking specifically things that are against the rules at Disneyland. You might be surprised to know that Disneyland has a lot of rules. It's actually a pretty strict theme park for rules and it also has just some quirks that aren't necessarily rules but the things that you can't get here at Disneyland. The first one we're gonna go find is over in the Great Moments for Mr. Lincoln Building. And we've shared this before in a Disneyland Secrets video but here we have a roasted peanuts cart and this is from opening day uh, Disneyland back in 1955 and um, it only lasted about a day or two before Walt saw people taking all these shelled peanuts and cracking them and tossing them on the ground. He about had a conniption and immediately put a stop to that. Uh, did not want those shells dirtying up his park. And so you cannot purchase in-shell peanuts at Disneyland. You should be able to buy shelled peanuts though. So we're gonna go on a hunt and see if we can't find them over at the uh, Candy Palace. Here in the Candy Palace is where you're gonna find these like pre-packaged things. And we're gonna see if one of them has peanuts anywhere. I got popcorn in here. Uh, we got some rock candy. We got milk chocolate caramels, milk chocolate mole balls, cocoa dusted dark chocolate almonds. Got some there. Oh, here we go, milk chocolate peanuts. Those are chocolate covered peanuts though. Um, I don't know about just like regular peanuts. We got some shortbread rounds, coffee morning roast. What do we got over here, toffee sticks? Those are just all toffee sticks. Well, we struck out. So if you really, really, really want to eat some peanuts at Disneyland, bring your own. You can honestly bring like a lot of your own food. We bring food in all the time. In fact, you can bring in like McDonald's or Pizza Hut Pizza. A lot of theme parks don't allow that, but Disneyland doesn't care. In fact, Disneyland actually puts picnic tables for you up outside of the, the park in the Esplanade for you to like, you know, have a little picnic and they want you to bring food uh, where they get you as merchandise they know everyone loves merchandise and uh, they upcharge oh do they upcharge 35 dollars for ears and maybe this hat too Whew. i mean expensive and number two is you can't buy gum just like peanuts you can't buy gum in the park that one's kind of obvious because they don't want people sitting here on the bench and then going Wonk. not that there was gum under there i'm not saying that there was but um yeah, they don't want people sticking gum places on the ground, on trees, so they don't sell gum. You can bring your own. It's not a banned item or anything, but they don't sell it in the park. Keep that in mind. Let's talk about some things that you can't bring to Disney. That's going to be oversized strollers or wagons. Now, uh, doubles, you can see quite a few doubles here. Doubles are perfectly fine. It's the triples that are going to be a little bit too big, or possibly if you have like a huge honking double and you know you have an oversized double. You can check the dimensions on Disney's website and uh, just be in mind that you cannot bring oversized strollers. A word on wagons. Wagons are acceptable under certain circumstances for disability purposes. And if you see a wagon in the park, it means that it was specifically allowed by Disney. If you look closely, it probably has a colored tag on it, letting you know that it is a, a disability necessary wagon. Don't think that, oh man, they, they somehow snuck it by. No, you can't sneak that by the security people. I've seen security turn away tons of people with wagons. So uh, you can have a wagon, but only if it's for a disability. Just to grocery list a few more items you can't bring. Uh, folding chairs, can't bring your own folding chair for the parade. Glass containers, you can bring your own food, but just not in a big giant glass container. Also, no coolers. Cooler bags are fine if it's a bag, but the big chunky plastic coolers, nope, can't bring those in. Again, check the Disneyland website for a full list of items that aren't allowed in the park. You don't wanna bring them because as soon as you get to security, they will make you take it back to your hotel or car. Look, Haunted Mansion might sound like the perfect place for your dearly departed loved one, but something you can't do at Disneyland is spread live human ashes in the park. It's just not a good idea. Uh, some people do it, and if you get caught, you could get kicked out of the park. Uh, but if you ever hear a HEPA cleanup, code HEPA cleanup, 
on the attraction. It's because somebody spread their ashes. And you know what's gonna happen? So those ashes are just gonna get sucked up into some vacuum. And that's not where you want your loved one to end up, right? In a vacuum, in a trash heap somewhere. That just doesn't sound very nice. So please don't spread their ashes on any attraction. It just definitely not Haunted Mansion. Critter Country is the perfect place for critter lovers. They've got multiple rides, all critter themed, and just leave your critters at home. You can't bring pets into Disneyland aside from this little wooden guy right here. Where is my finger? Oh, there it is, perfect. <laughs> um, the only pets that are allowed in Disneyland are service animals. And while they're pets, they are performing a service. And so I've spoken with several people who actually have service animals, and they would ask you kindly to not ask to pet their service animal, and definitely don't just extend your hand to pet the animal. Uh, they are actively working, and they are not, um, eligible for petting at that exact moment. You also can't hold a rally at Disneyland uh, because this is a, you cannot, it's private property and you cannot protest peacefully or otherwise uh, here at Disneyland. In fact, I was just at Universal Studios about a month ago and during the writer's strike, there were tons of people handing out papers uh, to guests who were entering the park. It actually made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. That's probably the whole point. Uh, and they were making a racket outside of the NBC building that is right next to Universal. But um, the you can't do that at Disneyland. You, you won't find that at Disneyland because it's not allowed here at Disneyland. No, no rallies, no protests. Um, you can't do political signs of any kind. So just don't bring them because you get kicked out of the park for it. Thing, no inappropriate clothing. Uh, you cannot wear like swear words and things like that. I don't exactly know what Disney classifies as inappropriate, but I do know that excessive swearing uh, on t-shirts, you will get asked to change and you'll have to buy a shirt or go back and change. Speaking of swearing, that was in our last video too, but you can't swear at Disneyland. Well, you can. Uh, no one's gonna kick you out for it, probably. I see people doing it, hear people doing it all the time. I just kindly ask that you don't. It's technically against the rules on their website but um yeah yeah don't do that please it's a family park the next thing you can't do that's against the rules is you can't smoke or vape now if it's been a few years since you've been to disneyland you might recall that they had a dedicated smoking area back here behind big thunder mountain but since they put in uh galaxy's edge that is no longer here because this is now a heavily walked area and in fact you cannot smoke anywhere on disneyland property now there are no designated smoking areas but this used to be one right here yes that does apply to vaping as well in fact if they see your vaping device i don't even know what it's called because i don't smoke uh they they will not let it into the park now if they miss it you know i've seen people in here vaping before please don't it is against the rules i don't want to smell it i know other people don't want to smell it either uh but i saw somebody smoking outside on uh, outside of the park he was on Harbor Boulevard outside of the Disneyland Resort sign, and I saw a cast member tell him that he couldn't smoke there, that you have to be across the street, that everything on this side of Harbor Boulevard is considered Disneyland property, and they don't allow smoking on it. So yes, even outside of the park, they kicked someone to the other side of the road for smoking. We have Pocahontas walking in front of us right now, and uh, it's a good time to mention, oh, and here comes Jesse. Uh, here comes Jesse. It's a good time to remind you that uh, you cannot wear costumes in Disneyland. Uh, if you are over the age of 14, you cannot wear costumes. And I feel like that's another fairly obvious one because if you are dressed up like Pocahontas, what's to say that a different guest confuses you with the actual Pocahontas? And then what if that that child follows you and leaves his family because he thinks that you're a character and you're official and that sort of thing. Uh, it, it's just for safety purposes that Disneyland will not allow adults to wear costumes. They do not want uh, other guests to confuse you with an actual character in the park. 
Uh, that doesn't mean that you can't coordinate or can't dress up. Uh, have you ever heard of Disney bounding? Uh, it's creating an outfit in the correct colors to where you know you're wearing the same color as Snow White's shirt and the same color as Snow White's skirt, but you're not wearing the actual garment that looks like Snow White. Uh, there's lots and lots of Disney bounding examples if you just Google it. I'm not going to put any of them here. I don't have permission to share their outfits, um, but you definitely can get creative with how you dress at Disneyland if you want to theme yourself like a Disney character. Just don't cross the line of actually having a costume that is detail for detail of that character unless you're going to Oogie Boogie Bash. That is the one exception to wearing costumes. You can wear a costume and I've seen some amazing costumes at Oogie Boogie Bash. Uh, and that's going on this time of year, September and October, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays is an extra ticketed event that does require you to purchase it in June when it first comes out because it disappears super fast. The next thing you can't do at Disneyland is use the single rider line if you are under seven years old. But if they are under seven years old, uh, they must be accompanied by an adult over the age of 14. A child age under age seven cannot ride by themselves. That means that if you're going on Mr. Toad's wild ride, you can't leave two, you know, six-year-olds in the vehicle in front of you because it separates and it's all by itself. If you're under the age of seven, you cannot use single rider and you must be accompanied by an adult 14 years of age. Disneyland might seem like the perfect place to celebrate a birthday, and it is. I see people wearing t-shirts all the time, like so-and-so's birthday, and like the birthday crew, and you know, one says papa, and one says mama, and one says sister, and one says birthday boy, or you know, whatever else. Uh, it's a great place to celebrate a birthday. It is not a great place to have a birthday party. In fact, you cannot bring in wrapped presents to Disneyland. You also cannot bring in balloons. Um, so you can't bring in those things. Uh, the reason being kind of obvious, who knows what you have in that package. And so for safety purposes, you cannot bring in wrapped packages. Please try, don't try. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, birthdays, okay. Celebrating birthdays. Uh, uh, hosting parties, not so much. You can go to Chuck E. Cheese if you want to have a birthday party. Next, you can't fly drones at Disneyland. If you're a budding photographer and you just think it would be so cool to fly your drone over the castle, yeah, please don't, please don't bring it. It is banned. In fact, Disneyland itself is a no-fly zone. Planes are not allowed below 3,000 feet or within three miles of Disneyland. And so that includes uh, drones. It also includes uh, remote control helicopters and that sort of thing. Uh, please just do not bring them. Uh, they will be forced to stay in the hotel room or be confiscated from you. In fact, that's why you'll so very rarely see any planes in the sky. Uh, I've seen them occasionally, but generally you won't because this is a no-fly zone. I've heard people say before that they can, you know, oh, I don't like Disneyland because you can tell it's in the middle of a city. Uh, no, no, you really can't. I mean, yeah, you can hear some honking, but that's from this guy right here. That has absolutely nothing to do with traffic outside the park. I mean, uh, that, honestly, there is a city just on the other side of those trees. And it's it's amazing that you can't hear it anytime you're at Disneyland property. But, uh, but yeah, you can't. Disney does such a great job of making this feel like a little encapsulated world, not even planes flying overhead. And lastly, if I counted them all correctly, you can't run at Disneyland. You can't run. Please walk to your next destination. You can't run at Disneyland unless you're here for a run Disney event. Now, I don't really keep track of those all that often. If you've done a run Disney event here at Disneyland before, let us know the last event that you did and if there are any more on the docket that you are planning on participating in. You know, I think I forgot to mention that you can't bring selfie sticks to the park. Most people know this, but you cannot bring selfie sticks. You say, well, what about those things I see vloggers using all the time? 
Well, I'm glad you asked. What I have here is a pretty popular vlogger setup and a favorite brand of vloggers, Manfrotto. Uh, so we have a mini tripod here that pops out, but I can also collapse it and use it as a stick to hold. And then up here we have a little grip that perfectly holds my phone and that just screws into the top. They're two separate pieces, two separate purchases. Um, but here we have the setup that I use. This is not a selfie stick. It does not extend. That is the question that they always ask is, does it extend? No, it does not extend. And this is what I use um, uh, some other vloggers may use another setup, but uh, it'll be very similar in style. And that's it for our time here at Disneyland today, going through a list of 15 things you can't do at Disneyland because they are against the rules. Now, there are a lot more things than what I have listed here, but these are the primary ones that uh, a lot of people don't know about or I see get turned away a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.